How's it going there guys, this is LG Hell, and in today's video we'll be taking a look at Bulletin Pro which is obviously the Pro version 2 Bulletin. So this Bulletin Pro has tons of new features such as configurations for the notification center, banners as well as the lock screen. So uh, in this new version you can resize the, uh, the notification center and put it in certain areas of your screen. So as you can see right there mine is looking a bit different as you can see it's all it, it's taking almost the uh, full screen and it looks kind of like the notification center on the iPad and this is thanks to Bulletin Pro. So let's go ahead and go into the settings of this tweak and we'll go ahead and check out what Bulletin Pro has to offer. So first off as you can see you get the the settings for the notification center and then you get um, uh, how much you want to reset the notification center and the position so first off you get default and then you get mini as you can see right there you get tons of different ones and there you can resize it uh, you can put it on the right hand corner or on the left hand corner and as you can see right there there is the mini as you can see the notification center looks really tiny however I can still access all the functions of the notification center however that is extremely small and I don't see myself using that option and also you have to actually click the home button to exit out of the notification center otherwise it won't work and it, it is a bit glitchy as you can see right there when you slide down the notification center and when you exit out the application kind of does a whirl or something like that and that looks kind of ugly however hopefully with a future update they will improve that but as you can see then you get tons of different options you get small smaller smallest and just tons of different options then you get left left thin left uh, thinnest left short and tons of different options and then the same for the right so now the notification center will be on the left on my of my screen as you can see right there and that is pretty cool you can also uh, change the um, size of the notification center as I said before and as you can see right there you get the same for the right as you can see now my notification center is on the right hand um, corner of my screen and then you get uh, other options such as content you get uh, height uh, certain stuff you get height attachment height da data label height attachment label height um, manage label and then tons of uh, other cool stuff that you can go ahead and play around and then you get cell you get height cell title height cell subtitle and height cell message and uh, then you can change the shadow color of the notification center I'm gonna change it to a blue color and now if I slide down my notification center um, in the bottom I don't know if you can see that well however it's uh, bluish color down in the bottom so that is that and then we got the options for the banners we can go ahead and do the same thing with the as with the notification center we can go ahead and change the position and the size of the banner so um, currently have it set to top small or you can go ahead and configure it to your liking and so that's pretty much exactly the same as the notification center you get the, exactly the same options and so yeah so then you can go ahead and disable the animation of the banner so it'll just pop up normally without any animation and then you get disable status bar um, x2 which uh, honestly I don't know what that means and then you can hide some more stuff so you can hide the title of the banner you can hide the message you can hide the icon image if uh, someone sends you an image and you can hide um, pretty much everything if you would like that and then you can go ahead and change the alpha color and so as you can see you get tons of different options and also options for the lock screen um, when the banner appears on the lock screen and for 99 cents this is a great tweak you can you get tons of different options uh, so that you can customize it to your perfect liking and um, for 99 cents for me it's a very great tweak and um, I would definitely encourage you guys to uh, purchase it and give it a try but again guys you can find bulletin pro for 99 cents under the big bus repo and it is by smart viper e75 and as i said before it is a great trick for 99 cents however it is still in version 1.0 slash 1 and hopefully with the version 1.0 slash 2 it will get a uh, major improvements such as nicer animations and all that stuff so thanks for watching this video please comment down below guys know what you think about this tweak would you use it or um would you not and please give me your reason and also guys i do uh, enjoy hearing your support down below so please uh, tell me that and i hope you have a really nice day guys until next time i'll catch you all in my next video